Alright, so this is going to be a super quick video. Uh, I picked up this Lenovo 120S. I've had the 110S, or excuse me, the 100S, which was red and um, had an Intel Atom processor and I did a video on that. Uh, I had the 110S, which I loved. I had it, the one I had was white, had a Celeron processor in it, and it was upgradable to an M.2 SSD and was it a, a, for the price. I mean, these are, I don't think I've spent more than 100 60 170 bucks on any of these uh, was a great laptop now I saw that they came out with the 120s and I recently sold my 110s and so I went, went ahead and picked this up these are selling for Amazon for like 170 bucks I think so I paid for this 165 something like that I'll put a link in the description if you're interested um, and of course what's the first thing I do when I get a laptop before I even turn it on I open it up and look inside and let's go around um, well, first of all, uh, ports. Let's, let's show you some ports here. Um, sorry, my desk is a disaster. I've been sick and the work in from home, and so my desk gets uh, messy. So USB Type A, headphone, microphone, uh, micro SD. Now these are nice because you put it in, it actually clicks into place. It doesn't come out. So um, you do have the option for expendable storage. It's just not very quick. On this side, USB Type C, a HDMI, another USB Type A uh, 3.0, and your charging port. Um, I have played around with it a little bit. The keyboard on it is excellent as they usually are. Speakers are decent. Um, here's a daughter board for the I.O. on this side. Here's your wireless. This is a nice big battery. Uh, does it say what it is? Oh, there we go uh, 41 uh, 40 milliamp hour so nice big battery especially for such a low powered system this is a fanless uh, system so there's no uh, fan just this heat shield for the CPU which is here which I haven't taken that off uh, which I may do to reapply a better thermal compound because typically these come with pretty crap thermal compound so I, I may do that and it's usually just like a sticky pad or something uh, and then over here on the 110S is where the M.2 slot is. And you can tell that they really haven't changed this all that much except, and it looks like you possibly could have an M.2 drive here. There's the spot for it on the motherboard, but there's no actual connector. So if somebody knows where you could pick one of these up, maybe I could have it soldered on? I don't know, we'll see. That might be worth looking into. So uh, that was one of the best things about the last one. This one has a f much, much better faster processor. I've been testing this processor in another system, which I'll get around to doing a review on. But uh, there's this slot here for um, the processor. So anyways, uh, this again, this is just a quick video, a couple minutes just to show you the insides of it and some of the peripherals. I'll do an actual review um, at some point here in the next uh, week or two, you'll see that online. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer those. Thank you for watching.